Opening up international doors. If you can believe me, I'll show you proof. I'm bringing out a doctor named Doof. Yo, it's Dr. Doof 2.0. Am my imports about to steal the show? The technology is so cool. Nobody even has to go to school. The lessons get zapped in your head. Here's Patron and full of that. No time for play. Let me tell you about flying cars that will fly you so very far. Hovercrafts, hoverboards, and flying mopeds. People of 2011, get into your heads. Every day I'm shuffling. Hi there, I'm Marcus Howe. And I'm Kyle Apple. And we're reporting live from the year 2050 to inform you on a breaking news story. NASA's most recent rocket, Husky 3.2, just landed on a new planet called Hoo! It went raw for the team. On that note, NASA has also agreed to bring planet Pluto back into the solar system as a legit planet. It's about time, too. Yeah, you know it's about time, because now with all the recent technology of the gases and the masses that we can do to get the planets back into, a into action, it's really great how we have that. Yeah, with the new system that NASA just developed, we're able to actually determine whether a planet is a legit planet or not big enough yet. Yeah, and can you explain to people how that works? Sure. Alright, so we sent robots to each planet because with the new developed rocket, uh, rocket... Woo! Rocket Husky 3.0 or 3.2. 3.2 hey, discovered planet who? Yeah. Anyway, with our new rockets, rocket uh, raw, rocket Husky 3.2, rocket Husky 3.4, and uh, Rocket Kush. Uh, let's see what else we got. Rocket That's Web. Rocket That's Web. That, that, was, that was the most recent one? That was our most recent rocket. Rocket right. That's Web was actually the one. And then Rocket Real Trap. Rocket Real Trap was before Rocket That's Web, but it was close. Anyway, Rocket That's Web actually discovered that Pluto was a planet. Hi, I'm Patty B. And in the year 2050, we learn how to clone ourselves. The international greeting in 2050 is very much adapted from the handshake to this. In the year 2050, we developed a new language that everyone in the entire world can understand. Ready, 
in biochemical engineering, we were able to discover a new element called DERF. This element led to the cure for all diseases. This pill right here is 80% DERF, 19% carbon, and 1% funky soul. You'll see why we need the funky soul later.